1907, when Menzies sold Whiteley's Olga for Ernest Giles painting for more than $3.4 million, we've handled a number of very prominent and very valuable paintings by this artist. Whiteley is now, in my opinion, the centre of gravity of the Australian art market. He is, uh, belongs to the moderns, uh, so post-Second World War Australian art, and he's arguably the most important member of uh, the very strong group of artists who are active in that period since the Second World War, Nolan, Boyd and Whiteley and uh, Smart and Brack. These are the names which are our favoured names in, the, in Australian art collecting. And in, arguably Whiteley's the number one artist because his work uniformly gets demand and has, has remained consistently interesting and consistently valuable since, since 2007, since we sold the, the, the Olga's for Ernest Giles. In our current sale, we're offering a fabulous painting, a portrait of Gauguin, painted by Whiteley while he was resident in New York in 1968. This is a remarkable painting. Whiteley had been in New York. He lived in New York for two years, staying at the Chelsea Hotel, a very famous establishment, famous more for the people who stayed there, Bob Dylan, uh, Leonard Cohen, uh, poets, musicians, and uh, this fame uh, persisted through the 70s and the 80s uh, until even in the, in the mid-80s when uh, punk, rock, punk rocker Sid Vicious had lived in the hotel with his girlfriend Nancy Sponge and a, fate, a very badly fated uh, uh, guest uh, couple they were. The painting we're selling, however, has also got a, a strong, um, strong whiff of that era. It, it does convey the sense of that place and time very strongly. Uh, Whiteley was fascinated with Gauguin. He was also fascinated with contemporaries of Gauguin's like Van Gogh. Whiteley saw himself as a, uh, as a brother uh, and as a co-artist with these tragic figures, Van Gogh, and Gauguin. Gauguin at one time con con contemplated suicide and that was part of the genesis of the painting which we're selling on our, in our auction. Whiteley also saw Gauguin as being uh, a romantic figure. The painting which, which we're handling is, like all good portraits, contains as much about the sitter as it does about the artist. All good portraits are in equal measure an expression of the artist and the sitter who they're representing. And Whiteley strongly identified with Gauguin, who was torn and who was a tortured figure just as much as Van Gogh was.